Let's find the inverse of this function. So we've got f of x is equal to 8 over x minus 2. Now step 1. Replace f of x with y. So this becomes y is equal to 8 over x minus 2. Step 2. Interchange x and y. Swap them. So we've got x is equal to 8 over y minus 2. Step 3. Solve for y. Well, it's always the same when you got a fraction. You always get rid of the fraction by multiplying everything by the LCM of all your denominators. We only have one denominator, the y, so that is our LCM. So we'll multiply everything by y. So multiply the x by y, the 8 over y by y, and the negative 2 by y. So that gives us xy equals, those y's going to cancel, and we got 8 minus 2y. Now we're solving for y, so we want to get everything with a y on one side, everything else on the other side. So we'll take the negative 2y to the left side. So we've got xy plus 2y is equal to 8. There's two ways of getting y by itself. One of them is combined together like terms, which we can't do here. The other one is to factor out a y, which is what we'll do. So we'll factor out a y, and that gives us x plus 2 equals 8. We're trying to get y by itself, so we'll divide both sides by what's behind our y. So we'll divide both sides by x plus 2. <coughs> Over here, these x plus 2 is going to cancel. And then we got y is equal to 8 over x plus 2. Now, step 4. Replace y with your inverse notation. So the inverse of f is going to equal to 8 over x plus 2. Now, there's no need to do step number 5. This is already 1 to 1. But uh, a lot of books will put a uh, condition on this. They'll say x cannot equal to negative 2. They're just specifying what the domain cannot be, or what the what the x values cannot be. Sorry. Now you don't have to put that on there. I'm ha I'm happy when students get down to eight over x plus two on their homework. <coughs>